May you see At this time, the court recognizes Mr. Stephen Weinhall, the United States Attorney for the Southern District of Illinois. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning. My name is Stephen Weinhall, and I am the United States Attorney for the Southern District of Illinois. And it's my honor to be here today. And on behalf of the Department of Homeland Security, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, I am pleased to present to the court 59 candidates for naturalization from 25 different countries whose applications have been approved by the Attorney General of the United States. I respectfully request that the court administer the oath of allegiance to these candidates for naturalization. Has it been shown to the satisfaction of the Department of Justice that these applicants have resided in the United States during the period required by acts of Congress, and that during all of these periods have been, and still are, persons of good moral character, attached to the principles of the Constitution of the United States, and disposed of the good order and happiness of the United States? Your Honor, on behalf of the Department of Justice, I am authorized to say that that showing has been made. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to enter, you're about to take the oath of allegiance to the United States. The oath has two parts. In the first part, you will absolutely and entirely renounce allegiance to any foreign state or sovereignty. In the second part of the oath, you will swear to support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. These words are plain. The oath means what it says. I charge you that if any person among you has a different intention of taking the oath, reveal it now to the end so that the petition for naturalization by that person may be withdrawn or dismissed. Okay, I'm now going to administer the oath. I want the applicants to please stand. And on the, I think the inside of your program is the oath. I'm going to each of you please raise your right hand and repeat it after me. I state your name. Hereby declare on oath. That I will absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law. That I will perform non combatant service in the armed services of the United States when required by law. That I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by law. And that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation for purpose of evading. So help me God. Congratulations, you are now citizens of the United States of America. six or seven pages of all of his accomplishments. And I'm not going to read them. 
But I will say this about Coach Henson. I'll go to the general public. Coach's success is measured in terms of wins and losses. But the real success and value of a coach is the life lessons they teach and the many ways the experiences athletes have with their coaches that prepares them for life. I played several sports when I was uh, in high school and I, when I look back on those days, those adults influenced my life and lessons they taught me as, as much as anybody. Life lessons such as drive, dedication, determination, attitude, confidence, teamwork, sportsmanship, and as a young athlete, the most important quality of all, discipline. Coach Henson, during his years at SIU, took a program that was on the brink of sanctions, and while building back the program, instilled all those qualities in his players and turned young boys into men, that they will apply those qualities Coach Henson, Coach Henson taught them later in their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor and a pleasure for me to introduce our guest speaker today, Coach Barry Henson. What a great day! <laughs> to see those smiles on your faces is just electrifying. I'm so proud. I feel like, I'm, I feel like these are my children. I'm, like, I'm so happy. 57 years and 11 months from today, I became a United States citizen. <laughs> so you and I have a lot in common. But I was in Fort Worth, Texas, and I came out screaming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Judge asked me, now this is how I got tricked into this. Judge asked me, he said, uh, Coach, do you believe in freedom of speech? And I said, I sure do. I'm an advocate of freedom of speech. He said, good, you're hired. <laughs> I went online last night and, and went through the process that you've been through, the 59 candidates, and the journey you started to be here today is absolutely amazing. You, I know you're happy, but you should be ecstatic about what you've done from the moment you started this process to right now that when Judge Gilbert said, congratulations, you are now citizens of the United States. I can't remember a sentence that just made the hair on the back of my neck stand up much like that did today. And I can honestly tell you, this is the first time that I've been in a court with a judge that I'm not nervous. <laughs> Let me say this. Now that you're citizens of this great country, you know, everywhere I go, everybody says, this is the greatest country in the world. You know, the problem is, I've not been to every country in the world. I like to think this is the greatest country. And I'm glad to be a part of it. But I like to think this. No matter where I am, that's the greatest place to be. Unless it's doing my chores with my wife. That's not one of the greatest places to be. But I tell you this today. Our country is not perfect. And we need help. And we need you from your part of your diversification to make us better. The journey does not stop today. It truly begins today as a citizen of our country, we beg of you to help us get better on a daily basis. I once heard a guy, uh, I once heard a preacher say, and his sermon was all based on make a mark they can't erase. Today starts your day. Today starts your day for you to make a mark in our country that will never, ever be erased. And the greatest thing about today, when you walk out that door, you will have so many freedoms that are allowed to you today. And then every time that you face that flag and give your pledge or hear the national anthem, it is a part of you 
in everything that you are. John F. Kennedy, which I'm sure you studied, once said this, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. This is the last thing I want to say and I'm going to get away from the podium. Hi, um, my name is Jen Liu, and I think you're 
out about eight years ago, and I really didn't know what to say, but I'm proud to be here. I am a citizen 
of the United States, I know that I can write without fear and send it to my country because in my country I couldn't do it. Thanks, God. My name is Mokesh Patel, and I'm proud to be U.S. citizen. My name is Miguel Brasero, and I'm from Honduras. I am happy to be here. My name is Alberto uh, Torres. I'm Mexican, and I'm proud to be here, and this is a great country to be last uh, right here.
Good morning, everyone. I'm Christy Wyman, originally from the Philippines. I'm here with my husband, my friends, and my family from Mosque of Southern Illinois. They're here to celebrate and support me. Anyways, um, finally, um, paperwork is over with, you know? There's <laughs> tons of paperwork to play with. Anyway, I'm, I'm done with it. <laughs> for being here. I'm currently a student at SID School of Nursing. I'm very proud to be an American. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, so just, well, 
country, part of this beautiful country, that bless America.
You may be seated. This time we're getting near the end of the ceremony, and I need to recognize uh, uh, some dignitaries, people that uh, uh, have, have um, come here to help perform this ceremony. Uh, Coach uh, Barry Henson, I want to thank you. Pastor UNB, Laura Bishop, our soloist. Uh, Meg Roberti, who's our foot of the court, and Tom Galbraith, our chief deputy clerk of the court. Uh, Steve Winghoff, United States Attorney, Brad Maxwell, our United States Marshal. Uh, Troy Wagner, uh, who's with the uh, uh, USIC officer, and Ella Fitzgerald, uh, the USCIS assistant. Helena Shorey, the staff assistant for the United States Attorney, uh, Richard Durbin, uh, Dick Durbin. Uh, Tina Gray, my courtroom deputy, who will open court. She has the closing of the day. Christine Dohack, the court reporter. Uh, Gina Hoyt, my paralegal. Uh, Katina Simpson, who... <coughs> Tina, raise your hand. I mean, she, this, this wouldn't even happen to one for her. So let's give Katina a <laughs> the uh, uh, daughters of uh, the uh, American uh, Revolution chapters, uh, Liberty Bell of West chapter, they here? No. Okay. The Michael Pelligas chapter, stand and, and tell us your name. Uh, can, you, can you get a mic over there? I mean, these are important people in, in our lives, and I want them to be recognized. I'm Janice Hall. I'm Sharon Pyle, and I'm a member of the Michael Douglas chapter, and I'm also the DAR Illinois statewide librarian. Oh, great. Congratulations. I'm Sharon Tanner from Harrisburg, Illinois. Kathy Morris from Harrisburg, Illinois. Candy Evans from Harrisburg, Illinois. Okay. Come this way? Yes, sir. Or, or come this way. All right. 
and uh, you can people with uh, cameras can come up and, and take pictures as we're handing the certificates to their loved ones. Uh, and again, we have a DVD. We'll be going to to, to everyone. <laughs> oh, I would be a medical. <laughs> All right. Um, so we are now going to uh, close court. Uh, No further business in the court. Court is adjourned. First person is Islam. Congratulations. Congratulations. And when you're done, and then they have things for you, on you need to go down this way. Like and when you're done, uh, the senator's office, the daughters will have party gifts for everyone. There you go. <laughs> Kenny? Would you like to get a little bit of picture? Oh, yeah. She's welcome to get a picture with us also. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, that's so yeah. At the end of your family? Yeah. Don't let him get away. Come on in. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. Come on in. 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 Yeah. Get it? Is it his? Yeah. Oh, Alright. Slow down this little right there. You're back here. I already did. Oh, cool. Yeah, you should be good here. Can we take this picture? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. Sharon? Okay, I know he is, but I'm just in the room. Congratulations.
Can I kill him?
Congratulations.